putting on this dermatologist testic expression extra strength piercing aftercare 24 cleansing swabs no touch application meaning that you'll break the part so Sometimes you can have sinus or congestion and you may need to cleanse your piercing again. You see the blue line? The medicine is in there. The medicine's right inside. I'm gonna break this blue half. And all the medicine is running down as you see it. See it. See, I have this problem with healing. And so I have to use aftercare a little bit more than others. And so my nose was bleeding early this morning. I don't know if I snagged my jury in my sleep or not. So on top of holes. I'm cleansing it with this extra strength aftercare. And, that, and yes, I'm wiping the jewelry too. Because you know that residue will prevent it from moving. The stone belongs up there at the top. But I've had congestion. I've had congestion, so a little congestion, sinus drainage. So I'm gonna show you again. See this little blue tip? You're gonna break it at the top. You see the medicine go down? Yes. The medicine is going down. It's still medicine up to here. So I'm gonna wipe again. I'm gonna wipe inside as well. And make sure you wipe on the jewelry too. Cause sometimes it has residue, like pulse build up, blood. Now my piercing is old, but I have sometimes sinus drainage due to seasonal allergies. And it could irritate your hole. And so when you have sinus drainage, you may have to use the aftercare all while you decide the word is piercing. Sometimes you can have pulse buildup or irritation. Or maybe my dog licked it. I don't know what in my sleep. The dogs can irritate your piercings if you let them look at you in your face. That's a no-no. But if it happens, then you need to get up and cleanse your face. See, it's rolling. I'm using more than what I'm supposed to use. Because I had a lot of blood build up. And what you do is you still notice there's little blood. You, you need to probably pr apply pressure. I could change my nose piercing and that can help out too. But I didn't bring my jewelry. I may change it a couple of days from now. Back to the 14 karat gold screw back. But that's how you want to cleanse your piercing on a consistent basis. You can take the piercing out and it's healed long period of time, then take it out and cleanse it is even better. But I'm just pushing this back because the stone's supposed to be back there. And see, there's the opening part if I wanted to take it out. You can hey. I've been wanting good food.
manage. Any good food in Dallas? Any home cooked food? Not greasy food. Dean Harrow. I'll look in a minute. Let me wash my hands.
if you're not ready to cut a yard or buy a yard, uh, pay for a yard keeper, don't purchase a house. Unless you're ready to keep the upkeep on a home, which sometimes it's better for you to get out there and push and push and push to help you knock some of those calories off of your waistline. Just a thought. Now. I don't think these dudes decide around the tree. It looks small patch. I'm gonna try their sweet tea and see how it turns out. So we eating canes for Sunday. A candy egg, a box, and a sandwich. They must have, it's three. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, three finger combo, candy egg, and a sandwich combo. Yes, yeah, cool. Uh, yes, if I can have ketchup, uh, I forgot to get some uh, extra sauce. If I can get a two, I'll pay cash for that. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, two extra ones. Yeah, he always leaves in here. So, this total was $139, I mean $31.9 something. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Yeah, it's like this. I'm going to pull up. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's what you bring. Ketchup. You see any ketchup? 
Maybe they're in the inside. That's your sandwich. I need some ketchup. You got ketchup at the house? I don't know. Why you ask me for some bean ketchup and then don't put it in here? Let me see. I don't understand that. Well, hopefully we have some ketchup at the house. Because I'm not going inside and I'm not going back around. These young folks, they don't need no damn job. They ain't got no damn sense of direction. And no sense of direction comes from home. They, they parents don't got no sense of direction. And they get on these jobs and don't have a fucking clue. And most jobs give you instructions on how to do shit, but they can't even put ketchup napkins in a goddamn set. You asked me, did I want ketchup and then don't put it in there. I don't get that. Do you get that? That's crazy. Okay. Just left Wood Town. Can he Um. Okay. It's the second spot in Dallas. Number one is Chick fil A. The only reason Kanye's is good is because they soft. The chicken is bland and it got no seasoning. And the taste is so. But you can get it toasted on both sides. Whataburger is supposed to use their brand, but there's no way that they use their actual actual bags because the tea don't never come out like that. Every I think what it is is that when they're making the teas, no matter what restaurant they are, they either I don't know, I don't believe it's brewed. I, whatever it is, a metal or whatever they're doing, they're leaving it out too long. And I think some people think that it has shelf life. And so when they're making a tea, there's no telling how long those tea are sitting out. And then in the metal container, it can create a, a slimy, rusty taste. And so I don't know what they're doing, but I've been through to several uh, water burgers, and their tea is just deadly harmful for you. It is just nasty. 
Uh, I do know that when you're making tea, you can you either drinking it that same day. If you you pushing it, if you hold it out two days, but if you hold out two days, it should be cold and chill in the refrigerator, not sitting out. So maybe that's why you see the little slime or the little powdery residue, or maybe they're using some kind of pre-mixed powder or whatever. But that shit ain't working. That they need to go back to the drawing board, and use Lipton's bags, or because. I mean, every Whataburger is crap when it comes to their tea. I've never got any fresh tea. It's always rusty. They always have some kind of bull crap when you taste it. It has a little yellow specks of residue with the, in the bottom of it. Some ain't right with that. And Lipton tea doesn't look that color. So that let me know that the shit is old. I'm just saying, I ain't told y'all about that damn tea at Whataburger. 